Hello friends. Friends, today we will discuss another application of Gauss law that is electric field due to an infinite line of charge or uniformly charged long wire or thin wire. So let us start this discussion. Now, what is the meaning of an infinite line of charge? Now, infinite line of charge means like this suppose we have a line of charge and we have positive charges uniformly distributed over this infinite line of charge or uniformly charged long wire or thin wire now here the linear charge density it is lambda I have already discussed about linear charge density uh, that is equals to charge per unit length. Now to find the intensity of electric field at a distance r, at a distance r suppose at point p, at a distance r suppose at point p, we need to draw a Gaussian surface as per the Gauss law around the line. Now in this case, in this case the best Gaussian surface will be in the form of a circular cylinder of radius r and length l. A circular cylinder of radius r and length l like this. Okay, we will draw a cylinder distance r from the upper portion and distance r from the lower one and like this we can draw a surface this is the these are the two caps of the surface and uh, if we rub this line and the length of this cylinder is L okay so we have uh, drawn a uh, circular center of radius r and length l closed at each end by the plane parallel circular cap these are the two caps these are the two caps normal to the axis now these caps are the normal to the axis this axis okay so all the points on the curved surface of this Gaussian cylinder are at the same normal distance from the line charge so all the points maybe at point p maybe at this point maybe at this point all the points <coughs> all the points are at a distance r from the from the uniformly line charge therefore uh, any area element if we if we can take any area element here ds taken on the cylindrical surface this surface is the cylindrical surface these are the two caps the what is the direction of the cylindrical uh, this area element i have already discussed my discussed in my previous lecture this is outward this is outward the direction of the area element is always outward if we will take suppose along this side then the direction will be along this side of the area element okay of this cylindrical surface and as the charges are positive and due to the positive charges the electric field is also outward okay so here the electric field is also outward okay so due to this uh, this small area element the flux suppose it will be small amount of flux that is the rate of uh, that is the electric lines of force passing through a particular surface will be equals to vector e dot ds now this will be equals to e ds cos of theta this will be equals to e ds cos of zero degree cos of zero degree because the angle between an e and ds because both are in the same direction it is zero so it is e ds d phi 1 okay uh, 
therefore the total flux through the entire curved cylindrical surface entire curved cylindrical surface maybe from this side maybe from this side will be equals to integral of d phi 1 integral of eds okay or phi 1 phi 1 equals to e ds now uh, if you remember the if you remember the uh, integral of ds these are the closed integrals integral of ds that is the area of the cylindrical surface is equals to 2 pi r l 2 pi r l so flux phi 1 equals to e 2 pi r l so this is the flux through the uh, flux through the cylindrical surface okay so this is our basically equation number one what we have calculated we have calculated the flux passing through the these cylindrical surfaces due to the uniformly charge distribution okay now again there are two surfaces two caps this cap and this cap okay uh, please tell me what will be the direction of the area element suppose here is the area element what will be the direction okay i i suppose you got it the direction will be this direction will be this this is the ds okay and what will be the direction of the electric field direction of electric field is along this direction this is outward due to the positive charges e so what is the angle 90 degree similarly if we will take area element here the direction is along this okay ds and what will be the direction of electric field e again the angle is 90 degree again the angle is 90 degree so if if uh, through suppose this this is the second surface this is the third surface okay second third second surface and the third surface first one was the cylindrical surface so flux 2 flux 2 phi 2 this equals to this equals to integral of e dot ds d phi 2 equals to integral of e dot ds so e ds cos of theta e ds cos of 90 degree and cos of 90 is 0 so flux total flux will be 0 similarly similarly through the third surface third surface again the flux will be e d s d phi d phi 3 e d s cos of 90 degree cos 90 is 0 so e d s is 0 so it will be 0 this will be our equation number 3 this was our equation number 2 so total flux total flux will be the sum of these three fluxes phi 1 plus phi 2 plus phi 3 so what will be the result result will be e 2 pi r l plus 0 plus 0 so flux will be e 2 pi r l equation number 4 what is our aim our aim is to calculate the electric field so now we will we will apply the gauss law now as per the as as per the gauss law flux equals to integral of e dot ds equals to equals to q by epsilon naught and because we are talking about the uh, line charge distribution so this will be lambda l upon epsilon naught because lambda equals to this is the linear charge density equals to charge per unit length i have already discussed in one of my previous lectures please go through that so this is our equation number five now if we compare equation four and equation five so it will be e 2 pi r l equals to lambda l by epsilon naught just change the sides so 
e equals to lambda upon 2 pi epsilon naught r so this is the electric field intensity due to the linear charge or uniformly charge distribution or charge distribution along a line here you can see that the electric field intensity is inversely proportional to the r and it is readily outward the direction is readily outward if the charge is a positive if the charges will be negative then the then the direction will be readily inward inward okay so uh, this is all about the derivation and discussion regarding the electric field intensity due to infinite line of charge or uniformly charged long wire or thin wire i hope you have understood if there is any doubt please share in the comment section thank you thanks a lot